So markets, uh, you know, SPY, as you know, the state of the market was a huge gap down. The last couple of days was brutal just because the inflation is not still under control and everyone is fearing that uh, feds are going to be more aggressive in uh, raising rates. And uh, that slows down the economy and really no one has any... All right, guys, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Andrew. I'm going to do the recap. Uh, sorry, yesterday I had a really bad day. It was lost and I was just not feeling well and I didn't do the recap, but it was a really bad day. So markets, uh, you know, SPY, as you know, the state of the market was a huge gap down. The last couple of days was brutal just because the inflation is not still under control and everyone is fearing that uh, feds are going to be v more aggressive in uh, raising rates and uh, that slows down the economy and really no one has any you know no company is really having any potential growth that's why everyone is coming down uh, so it was really really brutal uh, brutal last couple of days qqq and spy both of them uh, lost uh, you know gap down and traded all lower uh, right now what we saw here queues were gapping up but really strong through the previous day close it's bouncing from the previous close because it's really oversold but uh, uh, you know there was a potential that we can go lower it might not really go as much as uh, you know two three percent again but it might you know trade around at, as as of now it doesn't seem that market has any uh, you know strength in it until tomorrow the uh, feds meeting they come and announce the um, uh, interest rate uh, uh, increase and see what they say. They might say you know, 0.5, uh, half a percent or 0.75 percent. Nobody really knows yet. But you know, usually they don't like to surprise the market. But definitely, there are some high interest rates already priced in in the market. Um, so traded today for me again. The market uh, gap gapped up today, and we really didn't know which direction we want to go. The gap up was not as strong enough. It wasn't like two three percent gap up. So it was like a little bit gap up, which is normal after a, a couple of bad weekdays. And what we saw here was that TQQ really hold for two minutes, and then eventually came above the VWAP, and uh, I um, just uh, went long for one minute opening range breakout. We did pop up, but we came down, and I got stopped out. At 23.55 so really uh, the one minute opening range break curve didn't work out even though we had two dojis and came above the revap but again you know sometimes it doesn't work it went up i didn't partial and then it came down and i got to stop that and i'm glad i got to stop that after that it just went down so tqq is the leverage etf for a qqq so if the index of nasdaq goes up this one goes up three percent uh, the short version of that is SQQ. After I noticed that TQQ is really not having, you know, so this, this chart is exactly the inverse of the other chart. Uh, and then after that, I got a stop down. I flipped my position to the long and said, okay, let's get a run for SQQQ. I got a stop down first, but eventually after it came back up, I noticed that we really didn't want to get a five minute opening range break up on it. The market is weak. And then after that, I got this beautiful run in SQQQ. You could essentially short, uh, you could essentially short TQQ as well. If you have the shares, it would be exactly the same pattern because these ones are um, the opposite of each other and they're derivative. They call them derivatives because they are their, their price is not based on price action. It's based on the, you know, the underlying assets that they have. And I tried to add again for the another breakdown of Qs or break up of SQQ, but it really didn't work out and I got to stop out uh, with uh, nothing. Tesla was uh, another trade that I did was a five minute opening range breakdown. Again, it's kind of the same trade because when the Nasdaq is dropping, the Tesla is also dropping. Uh, but I like the price action and pattern here on Tesla for five minute opening range breakdown from 650 all the way up to 634. So that was a, that's a very beautiful uh, drop that we got uh, here. And that was my trade. Brian, how was your day? Um, my day was pretty good. You, um, you know, you were in SQQ Q and um, uh, just around um, just before 10 o'clock, um, I kind of noticed may maybe the uh, sell-off was was uh, done because it, it made a nice little double bottom pattern. So I, I took a long just over just around 23. We're just a little bit over and uh, got a nice move all the way back up to uh, to the view app. Um, we partialed on the way up once, but uh, yeah, I got a nice little bounce on that double bottom pattern <clears throat> that I like to trade. 
And then I uh, I did a on TQQ, yep. Second bottom was just before 10 o'clock there. <clears throat> and then uh, on the two minute chart. And then, uh, you know, I did a bunch, I did a bunch of other trades, but it's pretty, I'm, I'm tightening up my, uh, my trades and do almost more scalping. I did a bit of a scalp on AMD. Um, I knew we were going to get into some range bound trading <clears throat> at the open. So I tried to trade the breakout at 88, it failed. So I got stopped out, came back down to, um, to around 87.30 and I got at the, right at the open and I got back in thinking we were going to be chopping in a range and, a, and it went back up to 88, got out of it there. So um, anyway, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, I just did a bunch of other little trades, one on NEO through 17, um, Oxy I got, um, uh, as um, um, uh, again, a bit of a just a scalp. So overall, it's been a pretty good day. Yeah, made money. Awesome, that's excellent. So there is uh, something very important. Uh, um, Brian is going to have the webinar tonight about uh, Rising Devil and uh, uh, what was the other one that you had? Uh, fall uh, fall, there's Fallen Fallen Angel. There's fall actually angel. four of them. I'm going to go over. There's four. There's four possibilities um, with a stock on the open of news, and uh, so we'll go all go through all four of them. Got some examples, and uh, yeah, awesome. So That's excellent. Good, so uh, tonight webinar, I think this is essentially I think the first webinar that Brian is doing it. I don't know if Peter is joining too. All but definitely will be there. So thank you so much, and uh, yeah, come to learn from the legend himself, Brian profit of profit <laughs> and the market is uh doing uh, nothing really it's really around previous day close it doesn't seem that he has enough strength to you know trend higher or may not really necessarily uh go much significantly lower uh from uh, peak capital office Ardi, you can see Ardi in the background Ardi, say hi <laughs> so Ardi and i are going to go uh at the close we want to go at youtube live guys and dr reed dr kenneth reed is going to come and join us this is his fourth bear market and he has a lot of insight about how traders can trade in a bear market and what you can learn um, so one of the things that i noticed in the bear market is that uh, trading indexes are significantly you know easier than stocks in play because the volatility is really on the overall market and how you can actually look into uh, you know, benefit from that. So that's uh, something, uh, you know, I encourage everyone join us, guys. I, it's at 3.30 uh, on the Eastern time or 12.30 on the Pacific time, just before the close. And if there is any crazy activity on the close, we can look into that. Yeah, so I closed my day. It was a pretty, pretty solid day. And uh, yeah, have a good day, guys. I'll see you tonight, uh, today in the YouTube live. Cheers.